The ADATS marked a significant milestone as the earliest guided missile system exclusively designed for targeting both aircraft and armored vehicles. Its name, an abbreviation of Air Defense Anti-Tank System, reflected this dual purpose. Developed during the mid-1970s by Erlikon Burl, later known as Erlikon Aerospace, Erlikon Contraves, and now part of Rainmetal Air Defense AG, the project gained a partnership with Martin Marietta, now a part of Lockheed Martin, in 1979. The initial test launch of an ADATS missile occurred in 1981. The ADATS origin was somewhat serendipitous. In the early 1980s, the U.S. Army sought new short-range air defense, SHORAD, weaponry through the FAAD, Forward Area Air Defense, program. This program aimed to replace interim systems like the M167 Vulcan and MIM-72 Chaparral. Amid competition against the Liberty, Paladin, and Rapier systems, the ADATS was ultimately declared the winner in November 1987. However, the ADATS faced a tumultuous development phase, grappling with numerous issues and escalating program costs. GAO reports in 1990 and 1991 spotlighted problems such as low operational readiness, maintenance challenges, failures in key components, delayed or canceled tests, and data manipulation by the U.S. Army. These issues created a crisis that culminated with the program's cancellation in January 1992 due, in part, to the end of the Cold War. Moreover, the ADATS encountered commercial setbacks, failing to attract many buyers despite substantial investment. Erlikon's investment of over 1 billion Swiss francs yielded fewer than 50 launchers sold to just two countries. The ADATS launcher, usually mounted on the M113A2 Gavin chassis, boasted 5083 aluminum armor for protection. The turret featured an electro-optical sight, rotating X-band search radar, laser rangefinder, and laser designator. The missile utilized semi-active laser guidance, achieving high accuracy without triggering enemy radar warnings. The ADATS missile was propelled by a Hercules low-smoke solid-fueled rocket, reaching Mach 3 speed and a maximum range of 10 kilometers. However, the system faced criticism for its compromise between shape charge and fragmentation warhead capabilities. The ADATS faced challenges as a dual-purpose system. It struggled to effectively engage both aircraft and ground vehicles simultaneously, as their optimal deployment locations and terrains differ. Moreover, maintaining proficiency in both anti-air and anti-tank missions proved daunting for operators. Although deployed by the Canadian Army during the Gulf War, the ADATS never engaged enemy forces. It was not combat tested and faced high costs, contributing to its retirement from service by the Canadian and Thai armed forces. Ultimately, the ADOT's operational complexities, high costs, and changing battlefield dynamics led to its phased retirement, rendering it obsolete. The system's development showcased a blend of innovation and operational challenges that, in retrospect, contributed to its limited success and eventual demise.